Hello everyone, this is Teacher Mel and for today's discussion, we're going to add and subtract the similar rational algebraic expressions. Let's have our first example. We have 5 over 18a raised to 4b minus 2 over 27a cubed b squared c. So kapag nag-aad tayo ng rational algebraic expression, when we add or subtract, ang una natin i-consider is dapat magkaparehas ang kanilang denominator. Kapag magkaparehas ang kanilang denominator, we just copy the denominator and add or subtract the numerator. Pero what if magkaiba ang kanilang denominator? Ano kaya ang gagawin natin? So tulad ng example natin, magkaiba sila ng denominator. Ang unang step na gagawin natin is we need to find the LCD of the two denominator. So, how do we find the LCD? We need to factor the two monomials. Okay, so let's factor them. For 18a raised to 4b, we have a 3 times 3 times 2 times a times a times a times a times b. While 27a cubed b squared c, we have 3 times 3 times 3 times a times a times a times b times b times c. Okay, so ano yung common sa kanilang dalawa? So the common is we have the red one, yung mga red color. Ang gagawin natin for us to find the LCD, yung common, common terms, multiply natin sa remaining terms. So this becomes 3 times 3 times A times A times A times B multiplied to 2 times 3 times A times B times C. So we have our LCD, 54A raised to 4 b squared c. If you want to learn more or review more on factoring monomials, just check the link in the description below. Okay, so anong next na gagawin natin? Isulat muna natin ang ating LCD, which is 54a raised to 4 b squared c. Ito yung next step natin. Yung LCD natin, i-divide natin sa first denominator. We divide it to our first denominator and we multiply it to the numerator. Okay, let's do it. 54a raised to 4b squared c divided by 18a raised to 4b. So 54 divided by 18, we have 3a raised to 4 divided by a raised to 4 becomes 1. b squared over b, we have b and we have letter c. So we have our answer. 3bc. If you want to review more on applying the law of exponent in dividing monomials, just check the link in the description. Okay, we have our answer 3bc. Anong next step natin? We need to multiply it to the numerator. Okay, so let's do it. 3bc multiplied to number 5 minus. The next step, ito naman ang i-divide natin. Yung LCD to the second denominator, we have 54a raised to 4, b squared c over 27a cubed b squared c. So if you're going to divide this one, 54 divided by 27, we have 2. a4 over a raised to 3, we have a. b squared over b squared, that becomes 1. c over c is 1. So our answer is 2a. We multiply this one to our numerator. Okay, let's simplify. 3BC multiplied to 5, it becomes 15BC minus 2A times 2, we have 4A. Ang next step natin is we need to factor out this one. If a factor out natin kapag may common pa between numerator and the denominator. Pero kapag wala ng common, yung numerator and denominator, o di kaya naman hindi na pwedeng ma-factor out ang numerator, then this could be our final answer. 15bc minus 4a over 54a raised to 4b squared c. Okay, let's have another example. 2x over x squared plus 4x plus c plus 3x minus 6 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay, we copied them first. And then, Let's identify kung magkaparehas ba ang kanilang denominator or not. So, from this example, magkaiba ang kanilang denominator. 
Ano ang gagawin kapag magkaiba ang denominator? Okay, so we need to find the LCD of the two polynomials. So we have, for us to find the LCD of these two monomials, we need to find the factors of each. Okay, if we are going to factor out x squared plus 4x plus 3, the answer would be the quantity of x plus 1 times x plus 3. Paano nangyari yun? We look for the factor of 3, na kapag pinag-add natin, the answer is the middle number which is 4. And that is 1 and 3. Since 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 plus 3 is positive 4. We have the other one, x squared plus 5x plus 6. And the factored out form of that is x plus 2 and x plus 3. Kasi when you multiply 2 times 3, that's 6. You add them, that's the middle number which is a positive 5. If you want to review more on factoring, just check the link in the description below. Next is we need to find the LCD, yung common sa kanilang dalawa ay x plus 3. So count as 1 si x plus 3 and then we multiply it to the remaining factors of the two polynomials which is the x plus 1 and x plus 2. After which, ang gagawin natin is yung denominator, papalitan natin ng kanilang factored out form. So x squared plus 4x plus 3, yung factored out form niya is x plus 1 times x plus 3, pinalitan lang natin. For x squared plus 5x plus 6, yung factored out form niya is x plus 2 times x plus 3. Okay, pinalitan lang natin. Bakit natin ginawa yon? Para mas madali ang mag-solve later. After that, isulat na natin ang ating LCD. Anong LCD natin? x plus 3 times x plus 1 times x plus 2. The next step, we need to divide this one. Divide the LCD to the first denominator, and then we multiply it to the numerator. Okay, let's divide. The quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x plus 1 times the quantity of x plus 2. Divided by x plus 1 times x plus 3. Cancel out natin yung common. We have x plus 3 and x plus 3. We have x plus 1 and x plus 1. Ano na lang yung natira? x plus 2. Therefore, itong x plus 2 natin, yun ang multiply natin sa ating numerator. So, we have x plus 2 multiplied to 2x. Sumunod, LCD naman to the second denominator. Let's divide it and then we multiply. So, we have x plus 3. And x plus 3 yung common sa kanilang dalawa, kaya we cancel it. And then, meron pa bang ibang common? Yes, we have x plus 2 and x plus 2. Ang natira na lang ay si x plus 1. Yung sagot dito or yung natira na lang dito when you divide, or the quotient when you divide the LCD to the denominator, yun ang multiply natin sa numerator. So, we have x plus 1 times 3x minus 6. Next, I simplify naman natin by multiplying. So, distribute muna natin. We have 2x times x and 2x times 2. Okay, so 2x times x, we have 2x squared. And 2x times 2, we have 4x. I-distribute naman natin ang x plus 1 times 3x minus 6 using the FOIL method. So, we have the first term, x times 3x, we have 3x squared. Sumunod ay yung outer term naman, x times negative 6, it becomes minus 6x. Inner term, we have 1 times 3x, it becomes 3x. And last, we have the outer term, 1 times negative 6, it becomes negative 6. Now, we combine like terms. So, yung mga like terms dito ay we have 2x squared plus 3x squared. And then, we have 4x minus 6x plus 3x. Okay, so let's add them. 2x squared plus 3x squared becomes 5x squared. 4x minus 6x, that's negative 2x. Plus 3x, we have plus x. And then, we copy minus 6. After this, Ang gagawin natin is if a factor out natin kung pwede pang ma-factor ang numerator and the denominator. If not, 
then this could be our final answer. So, yung denominator natin, this can be written this way. x cubed plus 6x plus 11x plus 6. So, we have our final answer. 5x squared plus x minus 6 over x cubed plus 6x plus 11x plus 6. I repeat, kung pwede pang i-factored out ang numerator and then the denominator para meron tayong ma-cancel, we can do that. Pero kapag wala na, then this could be our final answer. Okay, you may try this one. Just uh, pause the video. Answer key will follow.